Hey guys, what's going on? So I just uh, was doing some more research on the Angus Reid uh, Institute. They do a lot of different polling around different kind of issues like the economy and you know, the monarchy and preferred president or prime minister rather, etc, etc, etc. And I just found a poll here that it's basically, it's the percentage you say environment slash climate change is a top issue facing Canada. Now we see up here at its peak back in December of 2019, it's at 42% which is uh, it's a pretty uh, high amount of concern for an issue that hasn't even been proven to be a real threat yet. I know some scientists say that it is, but a lot say it's not. So right now we're just kind of guessing, right? And then COVID comes along and then it drops way down to 24%. Then it kind of has like a little bit of a, it's just kind of a staying at ref, roughly the same. Then it goes back up a little bit back down. Then it shoots back up, stays the same. And then it just trends downward ever since uh, October of 2021. And you just keep, it's just going down, up a little bit, down, down, then back up, and then down to 24% as of November of 2023. So as of seven months ago, now only 24% of Canadians say that the environment or the climate change issue is a top issue in Canada. Interestingly enough, 24% is around what Justin Trudeau is pulling at right now. So I think we all know the type of people who really believe this horseshit anyway. And I'm not saying we, this isn't something that we should not be concerned with or that we should just ignore it. What I'm saying is that we should work on it, but don't make something that we need like fuel more expensive right now because we need it. Okay, if we have reliable solar energy or nuclear energy uh, in the future and people choose to use gas when there's no need to, fine. But that's just not the case right now. So what we need to do, and my, the other point I wanted to make too is that it, Jordan Peterson said this, and I think it was um, you know, just a really great point that I wanted to let you guys know about when he said that, I can't remember who he's having an interview with, but he was talking about climate change and he said, you know what the best thing we can do right now because we don't have a clear answer is create more, uh, like, uh, more intelligent people. We should create more of a a less impoverished uh, system, basically, right? The more people you have in poverty, for example, the less people they're going to care about climate change. Why would they? If they're homeless or about to be, they're going to worry about that. And that's going to be on the top of their list. Climate's going to be down here. Well, if no one's homeless, if no one's hurting for money, if we have a, a society that is thriving better than what we've ever had before, which considering you're supposed to get better in pro uh, progress with time, not get worse. We should have a thriving society, and we don't. If we have a more society, a thriving society, you'll also likely see more kids go to college or university, and therefore, maybe one of these more intelligent people can figure it out. Because so far, none of us have a really great plan, especially Trudeau. Right? It's not working at all. Right? So less poverty, more people who are thriving. Therefore, they don't have to worry about poverty. Maybe someone can figure it out because we're good. The, the more of a, a high society you create, you're going to naturally have more intelligent people in it. Right? Because if you don't have, you know, second or third world problems, you just worry about first world problems. But when you take a first world and essentially turn it into a second world like Trudeau's trying to do, and you have so many people who are homeless, th this issue is going to be up and down amongst different people, right? Like, but if you don't have this many people worrying about food, worrying about gas prices, worrying about rent, worrying about buying a house. They're going to have other time to focus on another worry. I'm not saying be hysterical about it, but we can definitely work towards something. But right now, because you're seeing people worried about rent and other, you know, and um, inflation and gas prices and, just the fact that there's scandal after scandal with this stupid prime minister that we have. People are more worried about that. Immigration. People are very worried about immigration right now. So climate change is taking the seat. So Trudeau, if you want people to worry more about climate, why don't you fix some of these other issues? And then the people who do want to uh, worry about it or do want to work on fixing it will have the time and the money to do it. Okay, asshole, there's just an idea. Also, just in case liberals don't understand this yet, Justin Trudeau is one of the biggest carbon emitters in the country. 
not only does he fly around his private jet, which is talked about all the time by Pierre Polyev, but what Pierre Polyev refuses to mention is that Justin Trudeau is also funding a proxy war. Let me ask you something. Does fighter jets flying around, do they not emit carbons? How high is their carbon emissions? Probably quite a bit, like more than, you know, going on a road trip, driving 10 hours in a car. Do you think slamming bombs or supporting the fact that bombs are being slammed into the world, into the ground of the earth, do you think that's good for the environment? Probably not, right? I would say one of the things that's really, really bad or one of the worst things uh, for the environment would be war. But they support it. Don't you see the, the hypocrisy here? They don't actually care about climate change. This is the fact that they did the, the largest transfer of wealth in human history in 2020, and they're not done yet. You've still got some money in the bank. And remember, you're going to own nothing, and you're going to be happy. End of story. So, you know, if you want to vote for Trudeau again, you want to vote for this climate hysteria, climate hypocrite, scandal-riddled retard, you can go ahead and do that. But most of Canadians are going to have a little bit more common sense, and we're going to vote in someone who at least is going to fix some of the financial issues. And then, like I said, you create a higher society filled with people who are not impoverished. They now have other things that they can focus on, and maybe someone figures out a good plan. Or keep voting Justin Trudeau.